right? He died so that in him, now we understand who we truly were created to mm -hmm. be. That all the lies that we ever believed about ourselves can be broken. And we can see ourselves who we really are. Amen? Amen. <clears throat> So the Samaritan woman came, so it was noontime. Uh, soon the Samaritan woman came to draw water, and Jesus said to her, please give me a drink. Jesus was opening up a connection, a point of contact or a communication with her. He didn't need, he could have, he just, he fed 5,000 people. He, he could do, he could change water to wine. He could do whatever he wanted, right? But he knew that he had to be there for her, he knew he needed to make an impact on her life that day. That she was hurting, that she was broken, that there was a need that needed to be met. Yes. And he was he was yielded to that purpose, to that cause. Amen. Amen. And so he opened up a point of contact, a uh, point of communication. God will use a lot of different circumstances to open up that point, won't He? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some a lot of times it's tragedy. I see a lot of people in the hospital or at a funeral, or in different circumstances, different tragedies. And, and, and it's unfortunate that it takes a lot of times for that point, for us to get to a low point in our life, to be so distressed, so broken, so torn, to, to get us to the place where we're finally saying, God, where are you, Jesus? I need you in my life. Yes. And the beautiful thing is, it doesn't matter where we're at. 